Since the development of ultrasonic cleaning systems, only two types of ultrasonic transducers have ever been used to generate the sound waves required for cavitation, piezoelectric and magnetostrictive. Both work effectively. However, each has pros and cons. As a result, Designers over the years have debated which type is preferable for use in an ultrasonic cleaner. We're going to look at how each type of ultrasonic transducer works, the pros and cons of each type, and then let you decide which type best suits your needs. Hi, I'm Frank Pettiflu with Omega Sonics. Let's talk about what these long transducer names really mean. The two types of transducers work in completely different ways to achieve the same result. In piezoelectric transducers, a crystal with special electrical properties called lead zirconate titanate is connected with electrical wires attached to opposite faces of the crystal. The crystal and wires are housed between two metal plates. When voltage is passed through the crystal, it changes the shape. When electricity is taken away, it returns to its original shape. And when there's no voltage at a given frequency, the crystal and the metal housing around it will resonate. Magnetostrictive transducers work on the principle that iron-rich metals expand and contract when they are placed in a magnetic field. To make magnetostrictive transducers, many thin plates of this material are stacked up side by side to make a core. Copper wire is then wrapped cylindrically around the core and the whole assembly is placed in a canister with the top and the bottom of the plates of the canister touching the ends of the core. Since electricity produces a magnetic field, as soon as the current is applied to the copper coil, the core grows in length. When the current is turned off, the core returns to its original shape. This expansion and contraction causes the canister in which it is housed to resonate. There are pros and cons to each type of transducer. Piezoelectric transducers are attached to an ultrasonic cleaner housing using an adhesive, while magnetostrictive transducers are attached by welding the housing to the tank. Early on, magnetostrictive transducers had an advantage in this area because adhesives available were not very strong and piezoelectric transducers would detach easily. Today, however, with the advent of modern engineered adhesive developed for the aircraft industry, the difference is negligible. For most parts and contaminants, ultrasonic cleaning is best done between 40 and 70 kilohertz, although some ultrasonic cleaners use frequencies as low as 25 kilohertz and as high as 170 kilohertz or higher. The highest reasonable frequency achievable in a magnetostrictive transducer is around 30 kilohertz. Because in order to change the resonant frequency, the core must be made shorter and shorter and the system eventually reaches such a low mass that no transmittal of vibration occurs in the tank. Piezoelectric transducers are not limited by this restriction and can therefore accommodate the entire frequency range. Because of this, magnetostrictive transducers are usually limited to cleaning applications where the parts are large and the contaminants are difficult to remove, but complete cleaning is not required. An example of this would be a plating line. Piezoelectric transducers convert low voltage electrical energy into mechanical energy in one step, making them very efficient. Magnetostrictive transducers convert electrical energy into magnetic energy and then to mechanical energy. A lot of energy is lost in the form of heat during this process, and as a result, these transducers are less efficient. That means for equal amounts of ultrasonic cleaning, piezoelectric transducers will consume much less power. Since most piezoelectric transducers operate at 40 kHz and above, the first subharmonic frequency is above 20 kHz, which is beyond the range a human can hear. Magnetostrictive transducers operate at 30 kHz or less, which puts the first subharmonic in the audible range for humans, 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The sound is identical to the hum emitted by a high-tension electrical line or transformer. When multiple magnetostrictive transducers are mounted in the same ultrasonic cleaning tank, the noise level is such that When piezoelectric transducers were first designed using quartz crystals, their strength would drop off over a period of time. Magnetostrictive transducers had no such issues, and as a result were the transducer of choice for a long time in ultrasonic cleaning systems. Later, as engineers began to develop the semiconductor ceramic materials used in piezoelectric transducers, 
they learned that aging the material before converting it to piezoelectric wafers eliminated 99% of the strength degradation. Because of this practice, piezoelectric transducers do not lose effectiveness with age as quickly as they once did. Thus, magnetostrictive transducers lost their biggest advantage. To learn more about ultrasonic transducers, visit omegasonics.com or call 1-800-669-8227. You can also find us on LinkedIn and Twitter.